No, that would be Mark. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, as promised, here I am on the way to the field trial. We are in the Uintas, and looks like I still have about 20 minutes to get there. Meet my co-judges. I'm actually apprenticing. I have two official judging assignments later this year, one in September in Montana, and one in December in California. So, I'll dig in and bring you as much of this weekend as possible. And for those of you who just enjoy seeing a field trial, you should really like this. And if you've never seen a field trial, then this should be pretty cool. So, stay tuned. It is hailing out there. This is kind of the camp area. Coming down some more. Ah! Roll that window back up. Dang! Okay, well, it's officially Haley. In the U.S. for the trial. Hey, good morning, guys. Here we are in the U.S. If you guys have never seen a fifth wheel dog trailer before, there one is back there. That's Mr. Clint's. There's our ducks. And then our test is gonna be all out there. It's 42 degrees this morning. It's July 23rd, I think. Yeah, I think today's July 23rd. That means Freya is seven months old today. And we're gonna get going. Hopefully I can capture some good footage of this and I'll show you guys as much as I can. So stay tuned. Guys. That's you. the running dog. This yellow lab on the right hand side that just dropped off. That dog already ran the test and had to sit there and watch the test go down again and then the other dog that's running this black lab here leave the line. So that's MC. called an honor. He had to honor the working dog. Um, most dogs at this level don't have a problem with that. So that is retrieve number two. Went and got the flyer first, which every dog is going to do and did in this test. I kicked it into fast forward because of course I could make this video really, really long. Wouldn't be hard. We had 61 dogs run this first series. So at an average of about, I don't know, five minutes per dog, uh, maybe six minutes so yeah we sat here for hours getting these dogs all through this MC. first series and then this is the long bird down the end here you can see him coming back with the bird down there um one thing i want you all to know is remember there was a kid out there in a white jacket so the dogs could see him really good all the stations are wearing white well, the station on the right-hand side and on the left-hand side of the flyer, as you'll see here, they retire. Those guys, after they throw, they go sit down. Okay, this is a different yellow dog and a different handler. Clint Vaught is online. Eric Fengsrud is the honor dog. There's the throw. Then that kid walks back in the bushes and hides. 
There's this throw. As soon as it hits the ground, he walks back in the bushes and hides. And then there's the flyer. Three coats and a duck. And they shoot it. As soon as they release the running dog, then they excuse the honor dog. I kind of cut this up a little bit. Because like I said, we could sit here for five or six minutes just watching each individual dog run this. So, I'm gonna step out of voiceover for a minute and just let this roll. Sit down. Okay, of course, this is our water blind. It's actually series number three. I didn't capture any of the land blind, but each time the dog turns around, that means you can probably hear it, the whistle was blown. So when the handler blows the whistle, the dog turns around, looks back, and then takes directions with hand signals and keeps going. We also use commands like back and we might say it louder the further away the dog is to help drive them across the pond. This is Mr. Marcus running. This is a young dog in the open. This is Alex Drent. This dog just couldn't handle himself, took off early. So he's out. Pick him up. Interestingly enough, he made it all the way to the fourth series until he blew up. This is Eric Fingsrud with a really nice black lab who's had tons of experience. Yep. Mature dog. Sit. Look at this teamwork. Eric calls for the bird. They shoot the long one. They shoot the other one on the right. You can see the kid standing on the right hand side down low. Then there, these kids throw a mama, papa. That was one gun delay. And that's number two. So it's a quad. And it wasn't very long, but there was plenty in there, including decoys right there. So, which these dogs aren't phased by. They get to see those all the time. Long swim, so we sped them up. Your dog is back after picking up three other birds. Gonna punch out for the long bird. Hoss. There he goes. And you're gonna see he does a really fine job staying in the water, swimming past everything, and getting all the way out there. There was some, there was two or three really nice jobs on this that were really quite impressive and then there was you know jobs that got the birds we have fourth place here's cindy goes to dog number six that's madison rivers black magic owner james hoxman way to go alex thank you and we're alex drench nice job alex Woo -hoo, alex thank nice you. job thank congratulations you. Yeah. way to go alex thanks Lord. thank you yeah. Yeah. okay appreciate you coming we have a third place. Goes to dog number 46, FC AFC oh, Horse Center Ice. Thank you, owner. Thank you. Bergolette, Bergoletti. Frigoletti. 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 Very good. Hey, way to go, Stan. Okay. Let's see. We have second place. Goes to dog number 29. Wow! Owner Handler Alan Madsen. I'm so happy for you. Way to go, Alan. Way to go, Alan. Good work. I'm not hugging you. Good job. <laughs> nice job, Alan. Congratulations. Okay, and first place goes to. Sorry, I'm crying. First place goes to FCAFC Blue Waters Tight Lines. Owner Tim Mueller. Yay! Come to Kenny Track. Which number? What number? What number? 
Nineteen. Nice job. Good job, guys. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. It's so crazy. Thank you. Well, guys, we finished it up. We're on our way out. It was a long three days. We got the open done. Kenny Trot won it. It was pretty fun. So, I hope those of you who do not know or didn't know much about field trials, this gives you a little bit of insight into them. And I hope that if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And look forward to bringing you more videos each week right here on this channel. Love and light, my friends. Ciao.